Tesla disrupted itself with 4680 battery cells. Tesla is a once in a generation type of company, says Jeremy Johnson from Pork News Tesla reporting team. The business is continually disrupting itself and the latest disruption is Tesla's own 4680 battery cells. These batteries are a step up from Tesla's online cell types. Let's take a look at why this is disruption and why it's a very good disruption with the help of Jeremy Johnson from Pork News reporting team. So these are battery cells that are bigger than Tesla's 2170 batteries and will provide more efficiency in Tesla's vehicles. It will make for lighter Tesla vehicles able to run on less of a battery for the same range or give more range to changing the specs of Tesla vehicles or they will be able to be used to make higher performance vehicles like a high performance Model Y, possibly Model Plaid and the upcoming Cybertruck and Semi. Do you think there will be a Model Y Plaid? Let me know in the comment section below, please. This is a disruption within Tesla and that distinction is important. Many companies once established stop innovating and grow at a much slower pace. This is not the case with Tesla. They are considered a mega cap company and yet they are growing at over 60% per year. The 4680 batteries are going to help them scale production and have, have higher margins on their vehicles along with creating higher performance vehicles. Could this mean that we'll see a long range Model Y built out of the Fremont California factory and new high end performance Model Y built of the Giga Texas? We don't know yet, but most likely by the end of March of 2022, we'll see the first deliveries from Giga Texas and be able to know what kind of vehicles those are. More so, here are more details. There is a lot of speculation on Twitter about Tesla's 4680 battery cells. How long are they going to last? Will they be the million mile battery talked about on battery day? Tesla is already releasing the LFP battery with um, uh, rear wheel drive model. Um, formerly known as the standard range version. And those batteries have a lot more recharges in them than the previous version. So I'm very interested to see the longevity of the 4680 battery cells and how much range and performance they will give a vehicle along with how fast they charge. A user, Silent Warrior on Twitter wrote this. He said, I'm guessing because the new battery pack is structural means the chassis will require uh, less joint and therefore more rigid, which makes the car handle better. Better handling usually means dynamic, more fun. I think this user is referring to the packaging of the structural pack as the chassis of the car. That is the understanding of the car. With this being the entire structural battery pack, that would mean less joints for the chassis. I think this will save money and make the car handle better. Tesla has put a lot of work into the 4680 batteries. Sadly, Giga Berlin will not start with 4680 batteries. There was a stipulation by the EU that for Tesla to receive funding, they would need to produce the 4680 batteries in Giga Berlin first. Tesla rejected that and it's starting at Giga Texas. So we're looking forward to seeing the specs of the vehicles with 4680 battery cells, more specifically the Model Y and Cybertruck. Was the 4680 battery a disruption within Tesla? Will other companies use 4680 batteries? I know an Israeli company is working on that. So please leave your comments below. Uh, share this uh, story with other friends on social media and let us know what you think. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla news. Ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Have a wonderful rest of the day. God bless you, everyone. Give us thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And let's move on to our next Tesla story. Tesla doesn't expect constraints in its 4680 battery cell supply this year, but current production capacity is unknown. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news. Give us thumbs up and ring the bell so you don't miss my next uh, story. Tesla gave an update a couple of days ago on the status of its in-house production of the 4680 battery cell. The company didn't want to confirm a production capacity, but it did say that it doesn't expect to have supply constraints from it this year, which is good news. In 2020, Tesla unveiled its new 4680 battery cell, a new tabless cylindrical cell in a much bigger format that the company claimed six times the power and five times the energy capacity, while significantly reducing the cost. 
Since the unveiling, Tesla has been producing the 4680 battery cells at a pilot production facility in Fremont and deploying large-scale production at other factories, including Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. The first Tesla vehicle to feature the new 4680 battery cells is going to be the Model Y produced at Gigafactory Nevada. Last week, we reported that Tesla planned to deliver those first new Model Ys by the end of the quarter. After the release of the company's quarter 4 2021 earnings, Tesla Senior Vice President of Engineering Drew Baglino provided an update of 4680 battery cell production, saying, Throughout 2021, we focused on growing cell supply alongside our in-house 4680 effort to provide us flexibility and insurance as we attempt to grow as fast as possible. As we sit today, sales from suppliers actually sort of exceeds our other factory limiting constraints that you mentioned, Elon, in 2022. Or to say differently, 4680 battery cells are not a constraint to our 2022 volume plans based on the information we have. But we are making meaningful progress on the ramp curve in Cato, meaning Cato Road. We're building 4680 battery structural packs every day, which are being assembled into vehicles in Texas. I was driving one yesterday and the day before, and we believe our first 4680 battery vehicles will be delivered this week. Quarter. Friends, a little bit ago I said first model Y with 4680 battery will be coming from Gigafactory in Nevada. I think I made a mistake. You should have, I should have said Gigafactory Texas in Austin. So the engineering executive confirmed that first deliveries with, of model Y with 4680 battery cells are expected by the end of the quarter using battery cells from the factory on Cato Road in Fremont, but he did not confirm the production capacity of the pilot plant. In the past, I've covered the production capacity reports of Cato Road facility re regarding 4680 battery production capacity. It's a two-floor building, not very big, about 10 uh, gigawatt-hour gigab <coughs> gigawatt capacity, I believe, at that time. So it's not really big. While Tesla is calling it a pilot factory, the automaker has announced a goal of, to produce 10 gigawatt-hour of battery cells at the plant, which is more than many other full-scale battery cells factory. Baglino also said that Tesla is making progress deploying cell production capacity at Gigafactory Texas. He said our focus on the cell, the pack and the vehicles here is driving yield quality and cost to ensure we're ready for larger volumes this year as we ramp and next year. And the 4680 battery cells and pack tool installations here at Giga Austin are progressing well with some areas producing first parts. By the way, this is the first time I see a Tesla re uh, referring to Giga, uh, Giga Texas as Giga Austin. So what do you think, friends, as I keep moving on, uh, should we call the Gigafactory in Austin in the future, Giga Texas or Giga Austin. Anyway, Gigafactory Texas is expected to be the first full-scale 4680 battery cell production facility with a capacity of over 100 gigawatt hour per year. That's very significant, 10 times more than the Cato Road facility and also but smaller uh, compared to Giga Berlin's battery facility, which I think is going to be about 250, 300 uh, gigawatt hour when it reaches full capacity and will be the world's largest battery factory for electric cars. With the facility in Cato and eventually the start of production in Texas and 4680 battery supply from cell suppliers, Tesla doesn't expect a constraint in 4680 battery cells this year, concludes uh, Electric in his coverage, saying CEO Elon Musk said that chip supply is still Tesla's main production constraints for 2022 that brought the entire almost entire electric vehicle sector stocks down a couple of days ago look at my previous report on that friends and he expects the situation to improve later this year and that next year battery cell supply might again become Tesla's biggest bottleneck in increasing production so 
interesting news, interesting things happening with Tesla, and I'm glad to see there is no supply strains for 4680 battery cells, which are going to probably change the specs of Tesla vehicles if they give Tesla vehicles more range because of the battery's capacity. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news, breaking news, and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. And give us thumbs up, please. Like this video if you found the information helpful and share in social media. God bless you. Peace be with all of you, friends. And let's move on to our next Tesla story.